When it comes to Australia's most valuable exports, agricultural products are near the top of the list. In terms of the, the real economy, that is the livelihood of people, especially on the land, uh, agricultural export is one of the, the crucial areas. And meat plays the biggest part. It is the biggest in a combination of beef, uh, sheep meat and pork. That's why the country's meat industry is relieved China lifted COVID-19 testing requirements last month for chilled and frozen food imports. It also no longer requires those imports to enter centralized warehouses for disinfection. Experts say the two-year-long process significantly slowed those goods that were being sent from overseas and added substantial costs to both importers and exporters. Some withstood that, uh, or, or withstood those costs. Some passed those down the line. Some of those were you know, applied to the exporter prior to um, the export being cleared uh, for movement through in China. Yeah, Last month, trade ministers from China and Australia held their first bilateral meeting in three years, another sign of an improving relationship that hit a low point in 2020 when Australia called for an international investigation into the origins of COVID-19. China responded with trade blockages and tariffs on several Australian products, including wine and beef. Beef was targeted at a number of, of uh, producers uh, in Australia who were not able to export. Uh, yes, and has continued, but th that is a that is a sign for the attraction that Australian products has in the Chinese market. So, in the end, there was no intent from from the Chinese side to cut that market off. In fact, China continues to be one of Australia's largest export destinations for meat, and experts say the lifting of COVID restrictions in China has helped to streamline the export process. People moving freely to load and unload uh, from a logistical sense, people able to move freely to then uh, store and then load out product uh, in that sense, and then obviously moving into people being able to move freely to then consume products at uh, all of the various locations. The challenge industry analysts say is making sure there are enough workers during a continued labour shortage to ensure Australian producers can meet the increase in demand. Greg Navarro, CGTN, Sydney.